hi, my name is Noelle and I'm from Florida. I'm 54 years old and when I was 10, I declared myself to be a Republican. I actually cried watching the Republican convention back then in 76 because Reagan didn't get the nomination over Ford. Of course, I was 10 and I didn't understand such things. But I was raised in a fiscally conservative and socially responsible, I would say moderate environment in my home. In 2018, and I've been a Republican since I turned 18 years old and I was registered to vote in 1984, which was the first election that I was able to vote in and I was proud to cast my ballot for Ronald Reagan. So in 2018, um, I was so dismayed and disgusted by the behavior and the actions of the person sitting in the people's house that I left the Republican Party. I did not vote for him in 2016. I'm originally from upstate New York and New Yorkers, well, we know who he is. Plus my husband is from downstate New York. And between all of us, we know who Trump is. Trump also owes my cousin $30,000 from God knows how long ago when he was doing subcontracting work in Mar-a-Lago. And that's what he does. He goes bankrupt so that he doesn't have to pay his bills. Anyway, so in 2018, I got so thoroughly fed up and disgusted that with not only Trump's behavior and his actions, but the lack of actions and the constant unblinding uh, drink the Kool-Aid support by the current GOP, with the exception of Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney is the only person I have any respect in that party for anymore. This has caused a rift in my family. Um, and I'm now a recovering former Republican with no party affiliation. I do not plan on voting for him. I have actively been campaigning for Biden-Harris and am thrilled to support him. They are individuals that at least have compassion, have a direction, they listen, they're focused on trying to help bind this country that has been ripped apart by the sociopathic narcissist that's sitting in the White House who has divided us with his racist and anti-scientific beliefs. At this point, I pray for our nation that we do not devolve into civil war, which is the potential with this crazy person. This is why I have left.